everybody. So you're here because I've got three tips. I've got three ways to be the person for whom time is a non-renewable resource, for whom time is precious and sacred, rather than being the person who tells everybody that it's so sacred and matters so much, but you're not demonstrating it. Before we get started, subscribe and like this video because when you do, more people who are born with a uterus and who are interested in shifting to pain-free, PMS-free, regular length cycles can find these videos because every single video we make is dedicated to us embodying and claiming our birthright, which is easeful impact. The more that we do that, the more that we lean into our innate strengths as people born with a uterus, the more that we lean into our superpower of being, beautifully enough, the less pain, the less imbalance, the less symptoms, the fewer symptoms of menstrual disorder we experience. I'm speaking from results and facts. It happened to me and we do this for so many women. We are here for this and it is these small moments with these awesome videos that can help get you there eventually. Of course, if you want the express, express lane, just go to our website, studyandfree.com, and you can learn about the ways to get into alignment with your cycle because none of us are here to suffer from physical problems. Our body is very, very, very well equipped to be healthy and to be pain-free in all ways. And I have noticed that even people who come to me who say, I don't have any problems, I just have a thyroid issue. Well, let's look at the let's look at the womb first, and when we do, thyroid issues gone. The womb is in the middle of the body for a reason. Pay attention to it. Get in alignment with it. Get in alignment with this piece of biotech that makes life that is our inherent north star, that keeps us in alignment with our mission, so that we can show up through easeful impact. When we have this going for us, ooh 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 ooh, we are can't stop, won't stop, through ease. That's why you like and subscribe. Okay, so you did not come here for that. Well, kind of. You came here to learn three ways that you can be the embodiment of somebody who values and considers them, their time precious and sacred rather than the person who just talks about it. And that reminds me of a quote that I love, 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 love. What you do speaks so loudly, I can't hear what you're saying. That's a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson and so many times I meet people, I meet clients, I meet clients who want to batch tasks, who want to be more productive in their workday. These might be entrepreneurs, these might be intrapreneurs who want to take the way of easeful impact to grow their business or to climb the corporate ladder, which when we do the way of easeful impact, it is more like a corporate rocket booster because there is no ladder to climb because we fly. So those people come to me and they're like, oh, I really value my time, I value my time. And the next thing they say is, I'm so overwhelmed. I have so much to do. I don't know how I'm going to get it all done. Well, if you value your time, time values you. It's a bi-directional relationship. And when time values you, you can't get overwhelmed because of lack of time because it shows up in as much space as you will allow it to show up in your life. And it shows up in the way that you expect it. Oh, that's so abstract and esoteric. So let's make this a lot easier. Let's get into the three steps. Step one, slow down. Slow down. An easy way to slow down is to breathe into your belly. For those of us who are born with a uterus, our superpowers are in the darkness. Darkness is the thing below the neck. Our friends born without a uterus, theirs is in the light. They rely on vision and hearing, and they rely very powerfully on the sixth chakra, mind. Ours is the fourth chakra, heart. And we are so powerful when we allow the feeling and the nudges that the feeling gives us and act on them. It's part of how we get to that whole easeful impact. And that's how we get to these creative solutions that progress our world, progress innovation, progress all the things that contribute to the up-leveling of ourselves and of society. Our sacral chakra, that sacred space where we receive breath, 
expands and contracts when we breathe here. And we can't breathe here in panic, and we can't breathe here in overwhelm. So the next time that you find yourself going, I don't have enough time, <laughs> lung panic breathing, slow down. Make a home in this expansive realm. It's there for you. So that's your first tip, to be the embodied embodiment of one who values time and whom time values. Before we go to step two, many people are interested in, well, uh, how do I do more of this expansive breathing? How do I slow down? How can I trust that I can go slow to go fast? How can I trust my four menstrual phases and that when I be in each one, I'll be on time for my life, on time. I'll be in flow, in productive flow. How do I do that? Well, we made a bundle for entrepreneurs to answer that question, and it's three parts. It is restore, where we reset your threshold for discomfort and for rest so that you can show up whole in the world. Expand, where we focus on making a home in expansive breathing, and thus one of our greatest benefits is that we do expand time for ourselves and our relationship with time deepens and becomes much more beneficial and then the third part of the bundle is succeed where you are led through a step-by-step -step process to create content and you learn how to use that content to feed an ecosystem that builds your seo that builds your audience and that builds your email list as well as you're being given access to a workshop that takes you through how to build your quarterly tasks so that you are not only getting all of your projects done, accommodating your vacation, accommodating the work schedule that you need. My work schedule is uh, Sundays, Saturdays, and Fridays off. So working Monday through uh, Thursday, six hours a day, because I really, I love my work. Um, so you may have more or less, it, it's, um, but I walk you through how to make that task, that three month, those three months of tasks, and how to categorize them and organize them according to your menstrual cycle, excuse me, according to your menstrual phase, so that you are again, working smarter, not harder, and thus accomplishing easeful impact as you grow your business or grow within your organization. So now that we're, now that you have that information, so you know that there are tools that can take you even farther than this video might, but this video is gonna get you some places. Let's go to the second way that we can be the embodiment of someone who values time and who considers it precious and sacred. And step two is to do tasks in smaller groups. So if you know that you have a project that has 24 parts, 10 parts, just do the first two. Do them, disregard, ignore, and develop a practice of being able to say, that's there, but this is what I'm doing now. It will all get done. When you take away the pressure of, is it going to get done? Do I have enough time? What you do is you take the vice, the pressure off of it, and instead you let these two moments be the whole project. And you do that thoroughly, and you find the joy, and you have fun in doing just those two parts. Oh, they're done. Going slow to go fast is another phenomenon that I'd love to talk about on this channel. And then you can say, what's next? Because you're just being in the moment again and again and again, two or three tasks at a time in that workflow. And of course, if you compound what you're doing and make sure that it is in alignment with the, physiologic, with the, with the physiological givens and strengths, of your different menstrual phases, oh my gosh, you're gonna have so much fun doing all of your different tasks that even if it was a hundred part project, maybe you are ghost writing a book. Maybe you are making an entire content plan for a client. It becomes a lot easier and it stays fun. So that's your second tool. Make sure to do things in just two or three increments. The list can always be added to as things come in, as things go out, more things can come in but we don't have to overwhelm ourselves and engage in overwhelm because other people are doing it. That's on them. Third step, reject interruption. So this is those, hey, I've got a quick question, 
or, oh, I know you're on your way out, but can you just, or as you're speaking, literally, and this happens to, I believe the number is 37% or 73% of women. It's one or the other, uh, where you are literally interrupted by other people, by other people with a uterus or without a uterus, it doesn't matter. Women just categorically get interrupted more than men. They have some seeming respect for their time that we can have, and our default includes we are built to have, but that we've been told, we've been taught to override. So we have to reteach ourselves that value and a very easy in that gets you a quick win and that feels so good that it is irresistible not to do it again is to reject interruption. You see, no is one of our, is, is our power word as a person born with a uterus. We are the castle, so our defense, because we're fixed, we can't get up and walk away like Monty Python where the castle just grows legs and walks away. You can't do that. So because we're fixed, our greatest defense and our source of power is in how well we keep things that do not serve out and how well we accommodate the things that are within and how well we enjoy those things. So because of that, when somebody says, I have a quick question, or I know you're on your way out. Okay, let's do it point by point. I have a quick question. The question's quick for them. They have the time, they live the life, and they, ha they may even have a quick answer that they want you to say to them. You're not in their shoes and you value your time and you're doing something. So their quick question is met with, I understand that it's a quick question for you. Send me an email or make an appointment and I will answer it on when, it, when, it, when I have time, when I have time. Um, let's say, oh, you're on your way out, I know, but can you just check this thing for me? Actually, I am on my way out. Um, make sure to put that on my calendar that you need it addressed, send it in an email, or we can schedule a time to go over the thing that you need help with. Happy to help when I have the time. Last one, interruption. You're talking, 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 the person interrupts casually. Um, oh, I'm speaking. That's it. Not excuse me, not I'm sorry, not I'll finish and then you can talk. Staying with your time, I'm speaking. How we engage with something is how it engages with us. So if you want more time in your life and you are somebody who values it and particularly feels that your time is sacred and precious, which it is, use these three steps to be the embodiment of that person who holds time as precious so that the quote instead might read, what you be speaks so loudly, I understand every word that you're saying. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace.